<laughs> Welcome to the Mini Mice Show, everyone. I'm Mama Mouse Cynthia, and these are my two Mini Mice. I'm Anissa. I'm Sienna. Happy Friday the 13th, everyone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The weekend is here, and we couldn't be happier, but let's just take a minute and talk about Friday the 13th for a minute. Um, day of bad luck. It, they usually say it spook. is the day of bad luck, spook. and I, I mean, just spooked. being in the parks today, they, we had a few like unfortunate <laughs> moments, but nothing too major. But hey, it's like, we are still going back. <laughs> I don't think you want to risk that. Yeah, I'm not going to do it, right? I hate Ugh, that. I actually, don't like never mind. Don't do that. that. It drives me crazy. Knock on wood? Yeah, the whole yeah, knock on wood thing. Like, alone. But I know, like, the whole, I mean, there are some people that are really, really crazy about the whole Friday the 13th thing. And we, the girls and I actually had lunch after the parks today. And um, we stopped at in and out and the lady in front of me was talking about how she was about to head to the tattoo parlor to go get her $13 Friday the 13th tattoo or something like that. I think I heard her right, but I'm not sure I heard her right. Um, but apparently like on Friday the 13th, you go and you get a Friday the 13th tattoo and it's either free or it's $13 or something. That's cheap. I, I guess it is pretty cheap, but do so I want a Friday the 13th tattoo on my body? Let's go right after this. Let's go right after this. <laughs> I don't know that I would want a Friday the 13th tattoo. Well, you could cross it Why not? It with, that's cool. You could cross it with Spooky and Disney. Yeah. Yes, that's true. But I don't think yeah. that's what they will give you. It's like a mask, I think, with a knife or something in it. Like the Friday I'm the 13th. hecka down. Right here. <laughs> right no. here. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> right here. No. You look like Russell. Oh, All, all done. done. <laughs> Okay, well, anyways, moving forward, uh, park news this week. Um, the new iridescent mermaid spirit jerseys are here. Yeah. Um, they hit the parts this week, and um, you can find them in the World of Disney store located in downtown Disney. Um, they go perfect with the new iridescent ears that also hit the parks. Oh, wow. And I love the iridescent ears, honestly. I think they're cute. They're, they're really, cute. really, really pretty. I've had people actually say they don't like them, and I mean, to each his own, of course, but I actually think they're beautiful. They're yeah. um, I'm not a spirit jersey kind of girl. <laughs> I, I love have spirit a spirit jersey, and I just, I'm, I don't know. It's not my favorite thing. I like them, if but I don't even have, have one. I love yes. spirit jerseys, so if they come out with the kid's size, I'll be buying it. Yes. Going back really quick, the Disney Wizard says, episode 13 on Friday the 13th, something wicked <gasps> this way <gasps> comes. Yes, um, and um, for those of you who are listening on YouTube or iTunes, um, the Disney Wizard is from Instagram. I'm um, on my Instagram account right now, and I have people following that are watching live, and you get a chance to do that if you follow along on Instagram. And you join our lives, we will be able to answer your questions live on the show. So um, yep. thank you, at the Mini Mice, of course, um, on Instagram. So, okay, okay, but spooky. 13th and 13th, that's right. so yes, weird. Yes, today is our 13th episode. Ooh. It is Friday the 13th. Um, did we, we didn't plan that. Spooky. No, we didn't. We did not plan that. It's funny how it <gasps> happened that way, though, think, Jason? right? Ooh, you know yeah, like scary. We actually had an idea of something to do for this day, but it didn't pan out the way we wanted to. But um, either way, we're really excited. I mean, we can't believe we're even this far. It's episode 13. Like, I remember episode one, back in Folsom, and we had no clue what Yo, we were doing. can I get that tatted? <laughs> wait, wait a minute. He's like, yeah. Oh, That's nice. Cool. You know what would be crazy? That looks pretty you know awesome. would be scarier, mm-hmm. Anissa? What? If today was the sixth episode. Um, Ew. No, you're just scary. going Ew. dark now. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be scary. Cast yeah. those demons. <laughs> sana, yeah. sana. <laughs> I think it Okay. Helped. Um, okay, so we just talked about the iridescent uh, spirit jersey and the ears. Um, more park news: the tiki the tiki juice bar will be closed temporarily starting mm-hmm. July 29th. Um, no return date is listed yet, um, but Dole Whips and Dole Whip floats can be found at the coffee house in the Disneyland Hotel during this temporary closure. Um, so rest assured, you'll still be able to get one. You'll just have to walk a little bit further. Um, and Speaking of that area, the Tiki Room will also be closing for refurbishment beginning August 6th. And there is no reopening date listed yet for that. Um, As you can tell, we're not big fans of the Tiki Room. So is it closing? So it's not permanently? 
Oh, no, no. It's not closing permanently. It's just oh, temporary, uh, temporarily for refurbishments. <laughs> and once again, that starts August 6th, and there is no reopening date listed yet. So um, that's If that. it's closed, do you think they'll close, like, that whole area down or just the inside? Because there's still a line for the Dole Whip in there, you know? Well, they're closing the Dole Whip part, too. Oh, all of it. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Shall I reread it? <laughs> Should we reread it? <laughs> wow. Let's throw the more The Tiki sass. Juice Bar will Boy. be closed temporarily. It's closing temporarily. I, I but you'll be able tiki. to still get them at the Disneyland Hotel in the coffee house. In the coffee house. Okay. It's okay. It's Sometimes okay. you guys say things, and I'm like, wait, what? And I'm like, wait, did we talk about this? I get it. I zone out a lot, too. Yes, you guys do zone out a little bit most of the time. I'm really thinking about this tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. You really tattoos. want that tattoo. No, 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 I just no. want Jack Skellington, right here? like, right, right here. Mm. I'm just kidding. Okay, well, one, one thing like, we found out this you. week, hold on real quick. One thing we found out this week that I'm actually really excited about, um, we learned this week that the much-anticipated Mary Poppins the, um, with Emily Blunt, my favorite actress. A Quiet Place. Um, yeah, yes, from The Quiet Place. Um, we'll be hitting theaters a week sooner than planned, so set your calendars for December 19th, 2018. Um, I'm really, really excited about that. I love her. Ever since, like, The Devil, Devil Wears Prada, I've been obsessed with her. I'm Sicario. just... Sicario. I, I love her. Yeah. And we need to cast away these mm -hmm. demons. Devil what? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. What is <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess I zoned out there. But um, anyway, and then also this week, we also Boy. learned that... Guess what might be... Oh, guess what will be hitting the big screen? But it's like, it's actually in the works now. It's confirmation. What? Enchanted 2. <laughs> ah! Isn't that Mick exciting? Mick Dream. I'm so excited. <laughs> Mick Dream. Yes. I love Mick Dream. That was my movie. I that know. So that was definitely, we watched, I think we watched that movie, Enchanted, probably every single day, about three times oh, a day. my whole childhood? Um, yeah, for like a year and a half straight while Sienna was little. How does she know? Love her. <laughs> oh, I love that movie. How do you so I'm really, really excited her. to see what they do um, with uh, Enchanted 2. I'm excited. The whole new songs and everything. Oh and, my um, yes. So, I'm excited. Yay. I'm excited. Okay, we're going to get now to a Oh my God. Favorite part. Oh, sorry. What? I just had like a Life prediction of what Enchanted 2 would be like. What? Share. No. Share. No. Share. Yeah. No, it's just a theory, but I don't like even listening to theory. So maybe there's someone who doesn't want to hear a theory, though. Wait, I want to hear this. Theory. No, okay. Well, you know how the girl that we didn't like, the one that Robert was with? Adina Menzel. Adina, Adina Menzel. Menzel. How she took off with Edward. Yes. They're totally coming back. Because remember, oh. they were in cartoon. Oh, yeah. But I think that Dreamy's going to go into cartoon. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> that is, that's pretty sweet. Right? Yeah. Wouldn't that I be cool? That'd be really cool. Yeah, Ooh, but that would probably bug me though. I'd be like, no, come back. Yeah, and the guy that was bad is probably gonna stay the bad guy mm. without the queen. Probably, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. I just thought about. We that shall see. Like, but we're so gonna cool. be talking about food now. Anissa's favorite <laughs> part of the point. segment. Our I favorite like segment. Just I like food. Too. My life but is flashing. We flashing. all love food. I mean, come I on. I know. Do I just. I feel food? like I'm really. <laughs> I know, Extra. But she loves food the most. Yeah, she, she loves food. I do like food. Okay, so right now at Rancho del Zoclo, you can get the new horchata slushy. Yes. Um, I haven't tried it, I haven't tried but it. you guys... but Yeah, my husband and I actually tried it, and it was delicious. It was so good and so refreshing because it was warm that night, and it was it was one of our date nights or our our only date night since we've lived here. Oh, um, what? <laughs> what you mean? What you it was, uh, we, we actually had a date night since we've lived here the other night um, when the kids were gone in San Diego with some friends. And we went to Disneyland of all places. First time we've gone alone since Siano was about two. Um, and we tried the horchata slushy, and it was so yummy. I mean, I personally love horchatas, so um, to have a slushy, it was pretty amazing. I so like if you guys get a chance, <laughs> Try it. It's so good. Try it before it goes away. Yeah. No, it's perfect for, like, hot days in the park, I'm oh, sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. Rancho um, del Zocalo needs a Mexican hot chocolate. Yes. yes. But, like, like, the one in San Diego. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That we yeah. tried one, and it was, like... It was, like, blended, and then it had, like, the actual chunks of the Mexican So if anybody in Disney that. is listening and he has pull, can we get a Mexican hot chocolate slushy? Right? Mm, that would be yummy. Um, but yeah, that was really recommended by a lot of people. Yes. A lot of good result. What is it called? Re feedback. Reviews, feedback. Yeah. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. 
But um, also at Rancho del Zoclo, you can find the new Coco themed chocolate pot de cream. De cream. <laughs> de creme. <laughs> I'm, de creme. I fail at being Mexican, I swear. <laughs> like creme de la creme? Yes, yeah, that's, that's, that's that means best of the best. That's not Spanish. No, but whatever. But Anyways. Yeah. Anyways, anyway. it's a cup with chocolate cake, basically, and a, a sweet, creamy chocolate frosting and a white chocolate Miguel chip on top. Yeah, if you look at it online, so there's pictures of it online, and it actually looks really a yummy. Lot of chocolate. So good that I think I'm going to, if we go to Disneyland tonight um, and not DCA. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was like, what do you mean? No, we're going. I mean, we're going, but what? I don't know what park we're going to end up at. My best here at Alyssa and Magic. Yes, she's here. So wherever they are at will be where we go. Um, so if it isn't Disneyland, I would be, I really want to try it. Yeah. So let's hope we go to Disneyland tonight. And dad's probably like, hopefully DCA then. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The less money he has to spend, the better. That's like anyone. <laughs> and that's every dad. <laughs> Anyways. So Disney brought, brought back the Dole Whip donuts. Mm. Um, it looks so good. These delicious, delicious, <laughs> these delicious. <laughs> These delicious <laughs> treats can be found at the coffee cart in front Ooh. of the castle. Mm-hmm. Um, according to a cast member, these donuts will be around for about a month, so you have some time to take advantage of them. I don't want um, donuts, we haven't tried but that it, looks so. amazing. It looks really, really good. And I, I've gone... That looks like We've gone a couple times this week, and yeah. I want to get it every time we're there, but somehow we always end up well, in it's DCA. it's like so. the pineapple truck. Always. always. The marshmallow on top. Yes. It looks so right. yummy. So I definitely want to get that, hopefully, this weekend. Mm. Hopefully it's good. All three Mouseketeers on Instagram is saying you girls are doing awesome. Keep it up. Thank you so much. We appreciate the support. And we're loving your guys' YouTube as well. So keep up the great work, you you girls also. Yeah. They're really sweet. Wow. Okay. Uh, Disney just released a new cupcake this week. The Iridescent Cupcake. Uh, Mm -hmm. Confetti and passion fruit cupcake with passion fruit and mango filling uh, mm. Finished with the tri-colored white chocolate champagne mousse. Oh, it sounds fancy. Heck of fancy. Mm-hmm. I've been seeing this all over Instagram. I have too. Everyone's saying it's the best photo op. It's um, gorgeous. And it she is cute. really pretty. It looks it's really, extra. really pretty. I think OMG Marcus P needs to take a definitely picture with that. Definitely <laughs> extra. Okay. Look at that. That is definitely extra. Marcus needs that. Yes. yes. Marcus. He slays everything. So. Mm-hmm. I bet you he could make that. To be honest, you're right. He mm-hmm. would. I'm pretty sure he could make it's that. It's fire. But uh, this beautiful photo op can be purchased for $6.99 before AP discount and can be found in the Jolly Holiday on Main Street. Yay. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, also, not sure if you guys have seen the progress yet, but the Bing Bong Sweet Stuff Confectionery is coming soon. Yes, yes I'm so um, excited about cotton this. Cotton candy. Uh-huh. Cotton candy. Yes, yes. There's still not a set date on it, but it's... Uh, Opening, but then on when the opening is, I mean, but the new items coming um, show. <laughs> the new items coming shows that we are in for some pretty great treats. Look at it. It's so cool. Look at it. Ah. But ah. Um, we were there earlier today, and I don't know if anyone was following along on our stories, but um, if you saw in our stories, I was actually in front of it today, and I took a picture, and it's actually coming together really, really nicely, and it looks so beautiful, and I'm just so excited for it. It should be good. Yeah. But along with a variety of candies, cake box, caramel apples, there will also be drinks like memory refreshers, which Ooh. I think is a really cute name. Yes. Uh, frozen drinks that will come in all colors and flavors. One of the drinks is the rainbow unicorn with grape <gasps> soda, yes. blue raspberry mm. soda, lime Ooh. cherry, lemon, Lime and rainbow candies. Candies, yeah. That Ooh. sounds amazing. Ooh. Doesn't it sound good? Sounds like it sounds like a sugar rush. Diabetes. <laughs> it sounds but. like a sugar rush. <laughs> but okay, when, another but drink. When doesn't a kid have a sugar rush in Disney? I know. I mean, you're right. Another drink is inspired by Bing Bong himself, called this the Imagine. One. Go ahead. I think this is the one you're gonna want. Imaginary Sorry, Pal. But. Which will be made with pink lemonade and grape soda with rainbow co- done. I'll insult. <laughs> <laughs> rainbow cotton candy topped with the Ooh. marshmallow flower. Yes. <gasps> oh, that one yeah. sounds amazing. So I mean, to say we're excited about this is really an understatement because yeah, I am so definitely pumped. an understatement. This that is probably so one good. of. I think this is the number one thing I've been looking forward yes, to the most bomb. with Pixar Pier. Um, I'm so excited for Bing Bong's um, that sweet stuff. That one and the core memory ride are like 
the yeah. things yes. I'm looking most forward I, to. I, I think I'm going to be spending most of my time, though, in bing bongs. Sorry. Yeah, so me too. That's what I think I'm going to be doing. Cotton candy and so. Yes, that's going to be so Cotton good. Cotton candies. In the candy okay, roll. so that's it for this week's news. Um, we are going to take it now to your guys' questions. Podcast questions. Um, we received a lot of questions this week from you guys, both on... Um, our, on our trivias, our lives this week, but also on, um, we did that whole questionnaire thing on Instagram this week, so we got a lot of questions from that as well. So we appreciate you guys so much, um, and we thank you guys for participating and just giving us um, your feedback. So we're going to start with our first question. Disney Fornia asked, will you be doing a, Disney, a Disneyland birthday special for Tuesday, July 17th? Well, um, as you guys may or may not know, this Tuesday is Disneyland's 62nd birthday, and we are really excited about it. Um, we have a couple of things up our sleeve, but you'll just have to tune in on Tuesday to find out. Next okay. question. Tangled Churros asked, what is your favorite best thing about doing the mini mice? Um, um, to be honest, for me... It's, I really love overall, like, all of us being able to do something as, you know, us as a family, like, mother, daughter, it brings us closer, mm -hmm. it's fun, it can be stressful sometimes, but sometimes. we always push through and we're just like, let's do it, and mm -hmm. it, you know, it makes us closer, but I also love meeting all the new people throughout, mm -hmm. like, I agree with you, I don't know, I like yeah. The time we all spend, I love. That's yeah. one of my favorite things. Yeah. Um, I feel like me as a mom, um, the memories alone that we're creating are literally priceless. Um, not only are we creating them in our own minds, but we actually have footage and pictures. And because of the show, we have something we're going to be able to look back at forever. And that alone mm -hmm. to me is so priceless. And then um, just meeting, like Anissa said, meeting new people yes, every definitely. time we're in the meeting parks. We get, I'm so <laughs> we get so excited. We get so excited when people are like, hey, aren't you guys the Mini Mice? And I'm like, hey, don't I follow you? And they're like, oh, yeah. And it's just so exciting. It was it's especially fun. special the very first time it happened. Yeah, the very, very first time, and it was actually... Uh, Guillermo. 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 Yeah, yeah, and we're friends with him now. Like, Yeah, we're definitely friends with him. We He's love so sweet. We actually friends. saw him yesterday. He was really sweet. Um, he, like, tapped us on the shoulder and was like, hey, are you guys the mini mice? And we're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> knew it, Joey. <laughs> it was like a surreal moment, though, because we were just like, well, it's, I'm Cynthia. This is, But you kind of forget... And when someone else gets excited and they appreciate what you do, it's, it's fun. It is it's fun. a lot of fun. And we appreciate everybody who, um, who supports us. We definitely su appreciate that. So. We will support you, too. Yes, we'll definitely support in return. Susie16 <clears throat> asked, what gave you guys the idea to come up with the Mini Mice? Yes. Okay, so one night, uh, my husband and I, it was back in Folsom, um, we went out on a date night and we were having drinks and just talking and usually everything that comes out of my mouth is Disney. Um, so he was like, and he's, my husband's really into, uh, I don't know if anybody knows who Gary Vee is, but, uh, my husband's really into Gary Vee and listens Gary to his podcast Vee. and, um, we he follows him Gary. religiously and he's actually met him a few times and he actually, him and his business partner pitched to him in New York. So, Guys, um, my dad's a boss. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so is Nathan. <laughs> so is Nathan. Yeah. So um, um, we were talking and my husband was like, you guys need to start, you need to start a podcast. And then I was just like, um, <laughs> what? And he was like, you guys need to start a podcast. I went, I don't know. Like, that's so out of my comfort zone. It's just, I don't. I was just like, let it in one ear and out the other, and we left it at that, and then he kept saying, you guys need to start a podcast, you guys need to start a podcast, and we're like, finally, we were just like, all right, well, let's see what it's about, let's try it out, and the rest is history, here we are, here we are, and we're loving yeah. it, loving it, hands down, probably one of the best things we do together as a family. And it. that's what I love most about it, is that we actually do it as a family. We have us three right here, I'm mama, and these are my girls, these are my babies. Um, and we do it with my husband, mm -hmm. their dad. So it's actually a family 
it's a family project and it's a family passion and it's a family, it's something we do as a family and to have that is such a blessing and I'm so grateful for it and um, <laughs> I'm thankful for it wow. and I do not take it for granted. I love it. It's amazing. Next question. Anita326 asked, if we, if I meet you guys, do I get a button? Do I have to find you guys or DM you guys? Um, of course you get a button. Um, Everyone gets a button. Anytime we're in the parks at the, at the same time as any of you guys, um, and you know we're <clears> in the parks, DM us. We will be more than happy to meet you guys wherever you want, and we'll give you a button, snap a photo, uh, chat for a bit. I mean, we're always open to do that. So, yes, definitely DM us. Okay. Alexis Perez, uh, 619, asked, what is your favorite Disney st- snack for hot weather? Um, to be honest, it really depends. If it's, like, super hot and I'm not that hungry, which is not that often, <laughs> <laughs> I like, like, I like soft serve ice like cream. Like from Carsland? At the same time, I like the slushies in Toontown. Oh, yeah, that's good too. Slushies from Toontown is like Mm -hmm. the best, cool, refreshing. But then just regular soft serve ice cream is like the best thing ever. I don't know. Hello. That (laughs) is true. Uh, For me, you can't go wrong with a swirl um, soft serve. I love, give me a chocolate and vanilla swirl soft serve. It's yummy for me. But there are also some days where you don't want the creaminess because it's so hot. I don't know if that makes sense. You want something more... That uh, does make sense. Icy. More refreshing and icy-ish. Yeah. Then I'm down for like a slushy or Sienna's Choice, which is... Go ahead, Sienna. So mine is the Adorable Snowman Parfait, the Pixar Pier Parfait. Mm. It's honestly like my favorite on the pier. I The first time I was like kind of like, it's not that good. But the second time, I loved it. <laughs> you also can't go wrong with the Orange Fanta Freeze. On Main Street. Oh, yeah. Okay. OMG Marcus P on Instagram just reminded me, duh, how could I forget the watermelon freeze? Oh, okay. That's probably my favorite, actually. That is my favorite. Thank you, Marcus. With the sugar on top. Yes. Okay, so the Hungry Bear restaurant in Disneyland next to Splash Mountain has (laughs) the watermelon lemonade uh, freeze, and it's delicious. It has whipped cream and the witch watermelon. Cream? Whipped cream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, what? wow, it has whipped cream. Oh, and right. uh, watermelon sugar. And it has, it's watermelon sugar, and it's delicious. So thank you, Marcus. I don't know how I could forget that. At Joey Osuna, always roasting. I know, Joey Osuna what you on Instagram. To say? Saying, uh, To be honest, Anissa since birth. I think he's talking about because you always hungry. So okay. He knows uh, you well. You're Already. Right. Okay, next You're question. Right. Imani Reardon asked, what are your favorite places to take photos in Disneyland or DCA? And DCA. Um, me, I can't go. You, I mean, I love a castle pick. So in Disneyland, I <clears throat> uh, can't go wrong with a castle pick. Mm-hmm. And in DCA, anywhere in Cars Land. Cars Land is um, beautiful. Because Cars Land is lit. Yeah. For me, <laughs> I would say Disneyland, I mean, the castle. Like, you just can't even go wrong. You can't go wrong. But DCA, I'm going to actually say Pixar Pier has been my favorite place to take pictures. Yeah, it's great photo ops, too. Yeah. I agree with my mom and Anissa. Castle, can't go wrong. And then Cars Land and Pixar Pier, yeah. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Pixar Pier. All right. Next question. Kaylee Dillard, 2018. Kaylee, okay, I can see. Kaylee Dillard, 2018, asked, Disneyland or Disney World? I'll answer this for all of us. We've never been to Disney World, sadly, so yeah. we have to say Disneyland. Um, not to say that Disney World is not something Disneyland. we don't want to do because we really, really want to do Disney World. It's just a matter of when we're going to get the chance to do it. So we definitely want to do it. We, we, have, a, we have a lot of... Um, we have a lot of uh, Instagram friends that are from Disney World that we are really <laughs> anxious to meet in person, yeah. and um, so we can't we can't wait. And Joey Osuna says, uh, "We going." Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I guess we're going. Jose, I guess are you we're taking going. me okay. or what? Okay, all of Jose. us actually. We yeah, a package deal, Jose. Just so you know. <laughs> okay. Just so you know. Okay. Next question. Thank you. Rev Lalo asked, "What character do you most connect with, and why?" Who wants to take this one first? You can go first. 
Okay. Um, for me, it's always been Cinderella. Um, a lot of it because of the relationship she had with her with her father. Um, I related to that a lot. So Cinderella, that's pretty much why she's my favorite princess. Um, but more recently, um, Mrs. Incredible, because she does it all. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie says she's thick. Yes, we all know who Charlie's favorite character is. Five um, C's. She hecka thick. Not even gonna <laughs> lie though. Okay, and you say your turn, baby. Like major kick <laughs> going on there. Okay, for me, it's. I mean, Dumbo's my favorite for a reason. Mm. I had a connection like no other with my papa, and then Dumbo was our movie, so that kind of resulted in you know me connecting to that as well. But, like, the connection Dumbo and his mom had was a lot like me and my papa. Like, he, we were just playful and sweet. Like, we could just stare, like, look at each other, and it was like we didn't have to say anything. It was just a very mutual love going on. <laughs> I feel like you guys are not listening to me. I am definitely listening to you. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> Uh, Joey Osuna says I'll, on Instagram is saying, I'll take you guys once if you put me on the ofrenda when I die. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Shake. <laughs> We're all trying to have a mind. Shake my head. head. Wow. Wow. Exquise. I'm just making fun of. Uh, okay. okay. Did you finish? Anything? No. Moving no. on. No, but moving no, on. It wasn't definitely. important what I had to say. No, what you had to say is actually really important because the connection you have with Dumbo is because of Papa, Papa. my father, and. I mean, that right there is irreplaceable connection. Also, I've always, and not like in a weird way, I've never been like a weird standout kind of person, but I've always been a little bit different than most people in like well, my growing grade. growing up, you were different because I've you were the very, only one that wasn't blonde hair, blue eyes. Well, that kind of. Where we that, lived. That where we lived too. anyway. That too. But and it wasn't just looks, it was one. just the way I was. That's why I, t I when I was like, Younger, I didn't have as many friends my age, but I talked to adults all the time. She was always I talking to our friends. I'm more <laughs> interested in like older people talking wise. <laughs> sounds so bad. And but also, like like old people, I mean, like in wheelchairs. Like I really, that's I why you used to people. spend all old your time souls. at the Alzheimer's home. Yeah. Anissa spent a lot of her time at the Alzheimer's home. I don't know. Home. I've always been different, and Dumbo is embrace what makes you different, mm -hmm. and. It's just, I don't know. There's so many ties to that movie for me. Anissa so. was very different. And she you was have the only one, one in the class again, that so loved A whole new reason most. to love Dumbo for you. Okay. Uh, mine. Uh, your boyfriend asked you to be his girlfriend on oh. Dumbo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such okay. a big fan. <laughs> yes. Jose My is favorite the is Winnie the Pooh um, because he always wants to be with the people he loves. I love wow. being with the people I love. I hate <laughs> being alone. That's one yeah, thing same. I always hate. Same. That and is true. And he also likes to eat. I can mm -hmm. relate to that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, she hungry. She hungry. Always hungry. Uh -huh. Next question. OMG, Marcus P. asked, would you rather be stung by a bee at the parks or bitten by a tick? Um, I want to know, why is this a question? <laughs> Only Marcus. My mom uh, read it, and I was like, Marcus, and she's like, yes. Yeah, How did like, you yeah. know? <laughs> okay, I choose neither. I'm sorry. I don't want to... I'm already hot at the parks. <clears throat> the last thing I want to do is be stung by a bee or bitten by a tick. <laughs> I'd rather... I'm going to play by the rules and say I'd rather be stung by a bee because I've already been stung a couple times, and... Ticks are hecka crusty. Like, <laughs> I don't want to take inside of me. What the heck? Get out. <laughs> at I least the bee just... And done. Uh, at least it dies after. At least so. it's dead. That's true. A yeah, tick I is going to keep being all crusty and he getting inside people. He thought you were that like, special that he gave his life up for you. <laughs> That's true. Um, I hope it was okay, worth fine, it, buddy. Marcus. Okay, <laughs> OMG, Marcus P is okay. saying, I have to pick. Okay, then I will pick being stung by a bee because I do not want a tick under my skin. I'm sorry. I agree. I agree with probably stung by a bee because if you get stung, it's over with. Like, it's not going to be stuck there I would have to days. look at this thing. Like, <laughs> I would have to know. And sometimes, sometimes when you get bitten no. by a tick, you have to go to the hospital and mm -hmm. have it removed. That is true. So that if I were true. to get okay. stung by a bee, it wouldn't be that bad. Next question. Okay. The Disney monster asked, what is your favorite Pixar food so far? Cookie nom nom. Uh, the, oh. Okay, Anissa, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, all of us basically said. The Jack Jack oh, cookie nom nom. Just kidding, we didn't all say it. Go ahead. 
Oh, you did yours already? Yeah. We okay, all, sorry. I literally said it like uh, four Me, times. the caliente <laughs> churro. Um, it's my Heck favorite. Crispy. Nope, it's my favorite. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I can eat it every single time I go there. Um, I've actually had it twice in one day because I love it that much. It's, it's not that good. It's yummy. Don't listen to them. Guys, it's really, really good. Like, you need to try well, it. Well, she likes the cocoa churro, so... The cocoa churro is good, but I have to say, it's hands good, down, that the caliente churro beats the cocoa churro. I love it. I love it that much. Well, I so, picked the SMH. Jack Jack cookie num num because you can't go wrong with a cookie. It's thick. The cookie is thick. Yeah, it's it, definitely thick. If it's thick, <laughs> then it should be called the Mrs. Incredible cookie. Mm-hmm. You're right. Moving on. <laughs> okay, moving on. The Disney Sibs asked, where is the Minnie Mice... Okay, where is the Minnie Mice opening music remix from? Um, um, we get the opening of our um, Minnie Mice when it starts is actually a YouTube beat maker um, at Jackson Beats Official. And he was kind enough to allow us to use it. And we appreciate him so much for that um, because it's actually a hit and we get a lot of positive feedback from it. So thank you, Jackson Beats Official. Okay. The Disney Sibs also asked, is the Minnie Mice on Spotify? Um, no, we're not on Spotify, but we are on YouTube, Facebook, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and Stitcher. Um, and those are all at the Minnie Mice. And so you guys can find us on all those outlets. The Disney Sibs also asked, what's your favorite ride in DCA? The Incredicoaster, for sure. It used to be Guardians, but I just love Incredicoaster way more now. Okay. Um, Radiator Spring Racers. I love it. Um, for me, it's Radiator Springs Racers. And Anissa, you're not going to like this one. The Pixar Pal Around. Ew. But I not, swinging. I do, I do not like watching you I prefer to keep my lunch that. inside. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's just, yeah. Okay. That ride really gives me... I know what it gives Joey you, Joey Osuna says, how are you going to do Guardians like that? You, why are you lying? You don't even like it as much why anymore. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? <laughs> Next you question. He loves the incredible Disney, coaster. wherever we may go, asked, outside of Disney and Back to the Future, what are other movies or franchise do you guys like? Um, favorite movies for me. My favorite movies, honestly, The Holiday and 27 Dresses. Those are two of my absolute favorite movies. <laughs> Sorry. What? <laughs> Okay, next, you're throwing us off here. Joey Osuna says at least you're staying away from Chris Pratt. Okay. Okay, for me, it's, yeah, it's for me, it's Harry Potter. Harry Potter is amazing. I love Harry Potter. Um, For me, it's Karate Kid and Harry Potter. Yep. Karate Kid is also pretty big. If you guys look right up there. The headband. Mr. Miyagi and Danielson and... The famous bandana. So, but yeah. Karate Kid is also pretty big in our house. Okay, next question. Disney, wherever we may go, also asked, what is in your bags when you go to the parks? Um, in my bag, you always find a charger, a water bottle, uh, the Minnie Mice buttons, a jacket for later because I always prepare for the cold, and chapstick. <laughs> Yes. She'd be cold in 110 degrees. <laughs> she weather. will. I did not need a jacket the other night, and I was actually pretty happy. It was basically 100. Because <laughs> it was 150. <laughs> For me, it would be a charger, definitely chapstick. And we all know. 100% some snacks, because you're Where were those hungry. snacks today? Um, not in her in stomach. Your not, sight. In your <laughs> <laughs> not in your sight. Not in your sight. They were in my bag. You just uh-huh. I didn't okay. take them out in front uh-huh. of me. So Chris Pratt is also in your bag. Oh, He's yeah. definitely a snack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god. I said a charger and That's a unfortunate jacket for timing. later because my mom has me put it, bring a jacket because she always gets cold, so she thinks cold. I don't bring one. No, yeah, but later on when you get cold and I say your jacket's in your backpack. Oh yeah. So. You it think not Thank caressed you. Pratt? Yes. Oh, and you Marcus P. That's rude. Okay. Next question. <laughs> Disney, wherever we may go, also asked, when going into Disneyland, do you go right or left? I'll answer this one. Um, um, we always go right. Go right. Um, go right. However, on trivia days, we go left because it's closer to the bench. <laughs> or you could just go to the right and then cross. Honestly, no. yeah. <laughs> no, because usually when we go on, like we're barely getting to the parks when it's time, we're always running 
late, not because of me, but because of my driver. Um, we have to haul <laughs> tail to get to the bench, so we have to go left. <laughs> Closest way to the bench. Yes. Okay. Um, Disneyland Eddie at Disneyland Eddie twenty eight asked, "What do you think Disney's best acquisition?" I can't see. Okay, acquisition was Pixar, Star Wars, or Marvel. Uh, we all Pixar. Yeah, every, Pixar. we all agreed it was Pixar. Pixar hits you right here. Yeah, <laughs> Pixar definitely gives you all the feels. Hits you where it counts. Makes you cry when you don't want to cry. Um, it's the best. Yes. Can't go wrong with Pixar. No. Okay, you're reading mm-hmm. the account name. <clears throat> Oh, La Conchita. <laughs> La Conchita asked, what's the first thing you do when arriving at the parks? Uh, me? I take a pic of where we parked. Anissa. Because <laughs> otherwise we're like wandering, wandering in the desert because we're Pressing like, where there. did we park? <laughs> I'm with my keychain, like we're waiting for my, <laughs> to hear the honk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anissa? So, definitely take a picture of where we parked. Honestly, eat, because I would say if I was hungry, eat, but you're always hungry, so eat, basically, so and eat. And Sienna? I always check the wait times, because I, I'm, okay, I'm pushy. I always want to get on a ride. Oh, wow, she admitted it. <laughs> you admitted it, it though. Wow, we're making what? progress. It's <laughs> the first step to realizing you have, <laughs> to fixing a problem is, in, like, acknowledging the fact that you have one. I know <laughs> I'm, I'm pushy. Yes. I know that for a fact. I always want to get on a ride. And when I want to eat, I'm pushy. That is like when true. are we well, gonna eat? That's a fact. Okay. Last okay. question. Last question. Ellie Smith all of us asked <laughs> <laughs> favorite live action movie. I couldn't think of anything. Uh, we all thought we all came up with the exact same Maleficent. one, and it was Maleficent. Um, I do. I did like the new Beauty and the Beast more than oh, the new yeah. Cinderella, but I still think Maleficent is cool. Maleficent's mm-hmm. better. Maleficent literally made me fall in love with Angelina <gasps> oh, oh. Jolie. Alice yeah. in Wonderland. I like that one, too. Ooh, Alice in Wonderland is a great live action. I, I yeah. That. Wait oh, a minute. Okay, okay. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I like Alice in Wonderland more. Yeah, now Ooh, that I think about I don't, it. Yeah, I have to, Alice, actually. Alice in Wonderland. I think Alice yeah. in Wonderland, because yeah. I, like, recited that whole movie. I had that See, whole movie See, when we were going memory. over the questions, no one I've could been think of anything, Alice and then now, now Alice, on the spot, like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But I'm glad we can think about it. Okay, so we're coming to a close now. Um, two things before we close out. Uh, oh, actually, uh, our trivia winner. This week's trivia winner. Thank you guys winner. so much for participating this week. We had so much fun um, doing our hangman, our Disney hangman this week. And we actually... It was so fun. It was a hit. I got a lot of DMs, um, positive feedback, saying that they really loved the, um, the Disney um, hangman. So we're going to keep it in the rotation for this coming week. Yep. And we'll keep and you guys have suggestions, please like let us know if you have any suggestions. We are more than happy to take your suggestions and we will use them on um, on our lives during the week. So trivia winner, here we go. In third place is the Disney Monster. Woo! Rylan! Good job, Rylan. Coming in third. Rylan. And in second place is OMG Marcus P. OMG Marcus P. This is like the Okay, hold on. Marcus has been in the top three yep, for like three probably, weeks. Probably no, three or I four think weeks. longer. Longer. Than that. Yes, he yeah, has been honestly. in the top three. He's gotten three first and second for, place. I, I want to say a couple months now. So Marcus, you're awesome, and we appreciate you, and we love you, and you're killing it. So thank you so yes, much for being a part of of our lives. I are. Our, our weekly lives. Yes. <laughs> but also a part of our lives because we do love you. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think we about that. We love hanging out no, with you. No, honestly, though, thank you for being a part of our lives. Lives. Yes. Thank you for being a part of our actual lives. Yes. Lives and They're amazing. They're Definitely. Amazing. Yes. Okay. Now, in first place... Our first place winner is... is the Disney Sibs. The, the Disney, Disney Sibs. Sibs. Good job, Disney Sibs right here. Thank you guys so much. They're actually some of our newest followers, yeah, awesome. and we appreciate them so much. They've been so involved in our, um, in our, our weekly lives, and they've been coming in and doing our trivia and just being super sweet. So we're really, really they happy to know you too. through Instagram, and we appreciate your support. And congratulations. We will have a prize coming your way very soon. So thank Yay. you so much. Um, all right. And closing uh, two birthday announcements. Um, today, which is 
like we said, July 13th, February, I mean, February, <laughs> July 13th. Oh, I'll look I said 13 and I automatically assumed February because that's my anniversary. Um, but July 13th is uh, Kylie from Tangle Kylie, True's happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. So we happy you. birthday, Kylie. We love you. Um, Kylie was actually our very first trivia winner, um, our Mini Mice trivia winner. And she has quickly become one she's of our so good cute. friends. Oh, and we love her. We adore her. She's such a sweetheart. So everybody she wish is. Tangled Churros a very happy birthday. And as we mentioned in our first question, next Tuesday is a very special day because it's Disneyland's 62nd birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday Disneyland. Disneyland! Our favorite place in the entire world is celebrating its birthday on yeah. Tuesday. And you know that's where we're going to be. Um, the girls and I will be there all day on Tuesday. And we will be going live from the bench at 7 o'clock also. Yeah. And if you're interested in seeing what we may do, um, just follow along. And if you want to join us, you're more than welcome to join us at the bench on Tuesday. So wow. until then, you guys have a wonderful, wow. wonderful week, a wonderful, wonderful yes. weekend. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes, SoundCloud, or Google Play. For those of you watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. We are The Mini Mice Show. Make sure you check us out at The Mini Mice on social media. This is The Mini Mice sounding off. Until next time, be kind and spread some magic. Don't be crusty. Bye. Bye. I'm hangry, so let's go. She's hangry. You know we gotta go. I want my boba, actually. I want my boba. Yeah.